Jim, I have to imagine this is the longest you have waited between football seasons. What has it been like these last nine and a half months as you finally get set for a game week? Exciting. Just excited, uh, you know, for the players. Uh, you know, been through a lot. You know, a lot of people have been through a lot. Things they haven't been able to do and uh, things they're used to being able to do. Just happy that, uh, you know, that the football players are going to be able to, to, uh, to have a game. So really excited to watch them have at it. And probably the most biggest thing for me is, you know, being able to watch them compete. You've been able to do that within practice for, for a while here. Um, no spring game, no real access to this team for a long time because of all of the, the global circumstances. How good is this team? What can we expect from Michigan in 2020? That's a great question. It's uh, very, very hard to predict in college football. I really like our team. Um, I really like the talent on the team. I like their competitiveness. I like their oneness. Nothing more important than oneness, as you know, the team. That's, it's, it's time. I mean, I, I can tell you it's time for the team to play. If we play good, we'll, we'll be dark tough to beat. Joe Milton at quarterback. We've heard since the day that he came on campus, Joe Milton has a big arm. What more do we need to know about Joe Milton as we answer week one of the Big Ten season here? Well, Joe uh, does have a big arm. I think probably one of the biggest things that um, you know, impressed me about Joe's offseason was that he you know, really took to heart working on touch throws. You know, not everything a blue darter and worked a lot with the coaches, a lot with the receivers and tight ends and backs. And it was good. You know, it's uh, Joe, man, you really got a lot of touch now. And uh I think that's probably one of the biggest areas, you know, just most recently. But uh, Joe is, uh, he's ready. He's ready to play a game. Very talented guy. and Known him a long time. Very excited to watch him compete. When you are challenging guys like that and, and, and you know the talent that they that they do possess, like Joe with his big arm, and, and you start to see that extra factor and that, and that growth, was there an aha moment throughout the summer that you said, my goodness, th you know, this guy is the real deal here? That moment, I was, uh, yeah, early in, in August uh, or July, one of the two, we, uh, you know, we were just having those, those practices, those seven on sevens, things like that. Uh, you know, that was um, just watching him throw different routes. Yeah, just, Joe, that was, I can see, I can see that, uh, that improvement in, in the touch. So, um, but Joe's a guy who, you know, he, he attacks every day. Um, you know, he wants to be better today than he was yesterday. He wants to be better tomorrow. Than he was today so you know it's been it's been good growth and it's it's every day he comes out on the field with a purpose um and and now it's time to let it rip you have talked about the talent on the other side of the ball when you guys face up against minnesota what's mm -hmm. your biggest message to the guys after waiting so long to finally play a game as you headed into a road environment this weekend well they're good um minnesota's a very good team in all, in all facets so uh yeah really good they got some really they got some great players um and they're, and they're well coached, and uh, but we gotta we gotta play us, you know. We gotta we gotta do us. We gotta play, uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna have to play good. Um, so uh, not gonna be afraid to do that. I think our guys are are ready to do that, and and now it's time to go do that. So um, uh, our guys are are greatly ant anticipating it too. So uh, we'll just uh, you know, keep preparing, keep keep uh, keep practicing, and. Um, you know, different, different than any other year as far as a road game. Um, so, uh, you know, so there's some challenges. You know, this is going to be the first time that uh, that our team or any team in the Big Ten has has traveled uh, in a college football game. Uh, this weekend will be the first. So, there's some challenges that way. But uh, you know, the message there is I'm going to be virus strong. Uh, you know, let's stick together and. Uh, you know, stay positive and test negative. Your brother said at a Ravens press conference, he came up with that slogan. And then, you know, you have coined it and loved it. Who, who, who originated it? It's a great message. Who originated it? Though? John. That was John. Uh, John, uh, John came up with that to test, uh, to stay positive and test negative. I love it.